Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, I'm Johnny Chivers, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the differences between AWS EMR and AWS SageMaker. So firstly, let's do a recap of what AWS EMR is in case you're new to the service, although we have covered it in previous videos. EMR stands for Elastic Map Reduce. It's a service provided to us by AWS that operates as a big data platform. It involves cluster computing and provides big data engines such as Spark, Hive, Tez, Presto, even older ones like Pig and Map Reducer there. EMR is obviously an involved service where you can actually SSH into the cluster if you want to and you're in control of the infrastructure. It'll be a spin it up for us, but then we have fine grain control over what's going on. So to really get the benefits of EMR, you have to have an understanding at an infrastructure level of what's going on. So if you want the ETL big data or what we're gonna talk about today, which is writing ML or AI algorithms, you have to really know how those underlying servers work, how to provision the code at that server and actually how to optimize the entire thing. And that's where AWS SageMaker comes in. AWS SageMaker, on the other hand, is a fully managed service aimed towards doing AI and ML algorithms without having to understand or worry about the underlying infrastructure. It's a notebook that is provisioned over the top of an abstracted EMR cluster. AWS look after the cluster force, which means we don't have to worry about the underlying infrastructure as if we were just using the pure EMR service itself. Now, with that being said, it means that you are forced to use a Jupyter Notebook. This would be very common practice in data science, where you go in, you write a block of code, you run it, and results can even be cached. Traditionally, or usually, data would sit in S3. You train a model, and once your model's ready to go, you can actually deploy it yourself from SageMaker as an API. Now, if you compared this to EMR and you wanted to do an AI or ML algorithm, you'd have to write the code from scratch. You'd have to provision the libraries inside the EMR cluster. You're managing the cluster itself from an infrastructure perspective, and then you throw the code at it. So it's quite involved. But SageMaker, you're just in a Jupyter Notebook, you write your training algorithms, you can even provision the API. So what's the catch if I want to do AI or ML algorithms? The catch is that SageMaker is more expensive than EMR. However, you're not looking after the infrastructure code. So if you're a data scientist or running a team of data scientists and you don't wanna pay for DevOps or perhaps you just don't want to actually bother looking after the cluster, then SageMaker could be the service for you. The other limiting factor of SageMaker is that it is a notebook. You are limited in what you can do in a workflow. Because of EMR, you've actually got access to the pure engine. You can fire the code however you want at it. But with SageMaker, you're following a workflow of probably cleaning the data, training the data, and then sending the model out. That's probably not a big deal if you're used to working in a data science background. And if the workflow doesn't fit, then you will be forced to go to EMR. That might be okay, and you don't mind looking after the infrastructure, but just bear in mind that that's gonna be extra overhead as you try to achieve your goal. Now, that's everything for today on EMR and SageMaker. I have put links in the description below to the data engineering course that I have on YouTube for free. I would appreciate a like and subscribe. The website is also there if you wanna check that out where I make a lot of material for free. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.